Uh, hello, everyone, and here I am with another Robo Riders review for Throwback Thursday. And today we are covering Dust and Frost. So, on the front of the caster, you see the picture of the sets that come within, and see Lego Technic logos, the Robo Riders logo, and the names. And then, so we'll go around, is see the set number, seven and up, and the amount of pieces. And then, we'll go around. You see the scanner code, the copyright stuff, and also the top secret web code area. Which, if you put this in the refrigerator, then you'll get the code. Which, but I won't bother doing on the video. Okay, so you'll have to try that yourselves. Then see what you can do with it. Like, see opening the canister and putting it in the canister, and how you shoot the wheel, and then all the sets listed off which I'll also be reviewing on Throwback Thursdays and highlight for the character that comes within and now to the booklet of which as you see same pictures on the front of the box of casters or anything and everything but on the back of which uh, add for some combiner models as, that you can do on the website which probably doesn't exist anymore but you know then add for all the Robo Riders, which I will be reviewing for Throwback Thursday. And then a combiner model instructions, but in the mid length of which has how you shoot the wheel. And then all the wheels. For which. So two for each rating. Being kind of like the discs in Throwbots. Yeah. So that is not it with the book. But also what you often get with these two is this neat poster of the combiner. So I'm using the caster tops for the back wheels. Which if you look if you have these then you would know. There's the two different backgrounds of which and the two sets that make this. So almost like the throwbots ones, but instead it's two characters rather than four characters. Until he did three in the Tawamata of Bonacle. Then on the back, I would see ads for Competition Cyber Slam, and then Star Wars Technics, which I'll also be reviewing for Throwback Thursdays, and some older Technic sets. And yeah. So first of which with dust. Of which ooh, let me just do more for that. Color scheme is mainly tan with accents of dark gray and black. So what's interesting to note is that with him and Onyx, the only ones that use the throwbot heads and also the visors of which so as you can see has his face print of which does say dust on it and opens and closes just like all the throwbots did. And also a little thing different from that he and Onyx and Power, the only ones that have this big large piece. This which is kinda of interesting, which we can kinda of use for mocking and all. And some like rods going through that and those big large paneling pieces in town which pretty kind of cool for that and also as you can see is the minifigure uh, spirit like pieces but in chrome silver which kind of cool definitely workable for wax and stuff and these all do roll well and his feature which is kind of similar to that of some of the other ones where it's what's called a ducking feature or press that and his uh, front spears come down or come forward kind of interesting and for his like back wheels which are kind of similar to that of swap so arrangement of black of back wheels but don't know if you can kind of make it out but there's one print of which, and then there's another print there. So for his feature of which, there's that, pull that, and then pull back, and then, and then drop. And then now 
as for the who's the one last wheelie but must be high ranked um, Well, what else is there to say? Uh, but at least good use of some, but at least pieces in tan of which, nice for mocking and yeah. And that is it with dust. And now into frost, but which a little extra cool. Which is a little thing interesting is that he's the only one that uses reuses the throwbot torso piece, so you can like turn it to make it go up and down like all the throwbot sets did but also some nice white tubings and also these uh, little ex gear extender pieces which Onyx and Power also will have yeah, but in white but in the back wheel there if you can kind of make it out but with this Then the headpiece of which is same as all the other or most of the other roller riders heads, but what's kind of interesting is that the name is actually printed on the lower area, which rather than on the upper area. And then also some minifigure spear pieces in trans blue, of which pretty cool, definitely useful for mocking or custom minifigs and all. And and on to his uh, wheel feature, same as the other ones. Oh, whoops. Pull that out, and then pull this back. And then there's the wheel for that. Also, uh, with this one, is what Onyx and Power or just Onyx also will have is you wonder what is that like extra pieces added on well no it actually came with the set if you look through the instructions then you would know about it like it acts as a little kickstand because without it just fall to one side so at least a good touch from them so now on to the final verdict of these two So my overall verdict is, I think these of which are pretty good sets, or pretty cool throwback set. Like you get plenty of recolored of pieces for mocking, and yeah, and also nice to see a bit of a throwback or a couple of throwbots touches there, like the headpiece and the main torso piece used for them. And yeah, if you still have these sets, then hope you had some good memories with them. And for those who haven't yet gotten these, well, go ahead and get them, like, on eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.